Hello everyone, my name is Bunya Bad. Today I would like to talk about minerals, rocks, and soil. Introduction. Earth has everything you need to stay alive. That's water, air, and plants and animals. Also, Earth have land. Land is where you walk and play. Your home sits on land too. Why is land made up? Why is it important? In this book, you'll learn about non-living earth materials that are made up the land. Non-living materials come in many colors and shapes. They can many sizes too. They can change in many ways. Elements and minerals. Let's start with elements. They make up everything on earth. They're very small. Oh yeah, periodic table elements. That's my thing. Yeah, but they're not the smallest parts of matter. But the smallest are atoms. Seriously. Yay. Silver. A mineral is made of el uh, is made of elements. Minerals are solid and inorganic. They are never alive. Some minerals are just one element. For example, silver is made of silver. Iron is made of iron. Other minerals such as quartz are made of two or more elements. I think quartz are made of copper. Earth has about 4,000 kinds of minerals. Each mineral has its own mix of elements. Rocks. A rock is made of minerals. It is hard and solid and natural. A rock can have many colors and patterns. The bits and pieces of mineral give a rock its color and patterns. Look at this chart. It will show you how I will make ways to compare rocks. Okay, so first we find my uh, mineral composition. Rocks have a special mix of minerals. Yeah, size. Rocks can be huge boulders to small pebbles. It can be as big as mountain, like like navy, or as tiny as a speck of dust. Rocks uh, is shape. Rocks can be flat, round, square, or almost anything. Color. They can come in many colors you can imagine. Many rocks have more than one. It depends on the colors and the minerals. Texture. Some rocks are rough, while others are smooth. They can have tiny grains or large smooth chunks. Some have a long crystals. Others are full air holes. Hardness. The small scale of hardness compares how hard each mineral is within the rock. Talc is rated a one, very soft. And diamonds are rated a 10. Very hard. Okay, I would like to give you a quiz. What is diamond made of? Most. It's made of mostly carbon. The, the patterns. Rocks have many, it has streaks, waves, or lines. They may have dots. Or it can be built layer upon layer. Some rocks don't have a clear uh, pattern. Location. An important way to describe a rock is where you find it. A beach, may have different rocks in the forest, desert, or volcano. Bye bye. Rock roots. Earth had three rock roots. Let's talk about each root. Igneous rocks. Hard ro uh, soft rocks called magma lies underground. When magma blasts a volcano, it's called lava. As ma uh, magma and lava cool, they turn to igneous rocks. Sometimes lava cools fast on Earth's surface. The uh, cool rocks may become pumice. These rocks are full of tiny air holes. Yeah, they're so light they uh, can float on water. Wow, what a record. First rock to uh, uh, float on water. It doesn't obey Newton's third law of motion. Sometimes magma stays underground and cools slowly. The cooled rock became granite. It's hard to solve it. Okay, so granite. Granite. Okay, fine. I almost think it was graphite. Okay, uh, obsidian forms when magma cools super quickly. It looks like black gas. Glass. <coughs> Well, that sounds like with Minecraft, but Minecraft stuff is with water and lava. 
sedimentary rocks. Some rocks are made from tiny bits of minerals or sediments. Water and wind can move these very pieces. Then the bits settle to earth in layers. New layers form a ton of old ones. When the pressure makes the layers press together, over time, sediments turn to sedimentary rocks. Stand cell is a sedimentary rock. It's easy to break. Yay! Look, uh, look for fossils in uh, sedimentary rocks. Millions of years ago, dead plant, uh, uh, plants and animals settled uh, to the bottom of seas, lakes, or rivers. Layers of sediment buried the plants and animals. Then rock form. The plant or animal stay in that rock or it shaped it. Fossils can help you learn about the past. Coal is also a sedimentary rock made of dead and uh, plants uh, pressed together. Over millions of years under great pressure, the plants turn into rock. So that means if uh, that was yeah, that easy, that coal was oversimplified that it's made from dead plants, then why don't we just try and take all the dead plants in the world uh, and then like press them together like this. I mean, we had done great pressure before, I think. But if we can't do, uh, if we can do that, then it will solve world's uh, thirst for natural resources. Yay! I'm such a genius. Metamorphic rocks. Heat and pressure uh, the below can change all rocks. They can metamorphic rocks. A weak rock may turn to strong ones. Find a feel like. Top and, uh, and knees, the bottom, are two kinds of metamorphic rocks. The rock cycle. Rocks can uh, go to a rock cycle. They move that up to Earth's surface, they break apart, can be pressed together again. Then they go underground where heat and pressure can change them. Okay, this diagram. Okay, so we start with igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are uh, changed to sedimentary rocks uh, by weathering and erosion. But the sedimentary rocks can be uh, turned to igneous rocks by melting them. Okay, so uh, sedimentary rocks uh, have to apply heat and pressure to become metamorph uh, metamorphic rocks. And metamorphic rocks uh, need weathering and erosion to become sedimentary rocks. And then metamorphic rocks turn to igneous rocks by melting. But the igneous rocks uh, may need heat and pressure to turn to metamorphic rocks. Okay, that sums it up. Weathering and erosion. Oh, All right. Rocks can change and move. Weathering change the size and shape of rocks. Moving uh, water uh, and wind uh, will often make rocks bang to each other. This makes the rocks move around. It can also break the rocks into pieces. Yep, that was normal. Water can get into cracks in a rock. In winter, water may turn to ice. The ice can open the crack and break the rocks into pieces. Oh, so I guess that's the power of ice then because uh, my family often uses spoons. Plant roots can uh, grow into a crack too. As they grow, they can break the rock open. Ooh, nice example. It's tree versus rock then. Erosion moves rocks. Wind and water can move small pieces of rock from one place to another. As, the, uh, as they move, they bump into each other and move or break them. This can cause more erosion. Big rocks can turn into the stone, sand, or even dust. Other things move rocks too. Glacier, uh, glaciers uh, carry rocks downhill in a slow river of ice. Earthquakes or heavy rain can make the rock tumble down mountains. An arch caused by weathering. Wait, isn't that in Arizona? Because I don't remember. I just know it's Arizona. And that looks like Australia, I think. Because Australia says for a number of regular accidents. What is soil? Earth's land is no, more than non-living uh, rocks and minerals. Land also has organic matter that is dead or once was alive. Plants and animals and animal waste are organic. Soil is a mix of 
rocks, minerals, and organic matter. The organic matter in soil is called humus. Soil also has air and water. Plants need the soil, and many uh, animals need plants. Okay, you know what? You know how do uh, uh, do you know how they made soy uh, soil? It's like the dead uh, uh, plants, dead animals, or a uh, dead plants, dead animals, or animal waste. They are like they just sit. Uh, they are like there, and then like. Make the insects uh, eat the soft tissues and then bacteria decompose the rest of them and then they turn to soil. I mean, they turn to nitrogen, of course, and nitrogen is beneficial for plants so it comes into the soil. So, I guess that sums it up. Kinds of soil. The world has many kinds of soil. Each one has a, um, a different mix of mineral spits of rock and humus plus. They can take years to uh, each soil to form. Soils come in many colors. One may not feel the same uh, as the others. Layers of soil. Soil change and move near the surface. It changes less underground. As a result, soil often has layers. The thin layer, is, uh, the thin layer on the top is called topsoil. It's not the soft. It usually has more air and water than the deeper soil. Also, it's where the most I mean, most roots come into place. Subsoil is in the middle layer. It's drier, harder than topsoil. It has more rocks. Bedrock is often far underground. Little air or water reaches bedrock. This is the very hard and dry. Okay, so uh, does that sum up with the bedrock and Minecraft? I mean, we may can dig into a bedrock though. I mean. It's often very hard and dry, but that does not mean it's, too, uh, it's super hard or probably the hardest. Okay, you could just use a diamond. Then, uh, so I guess Minecraft stuff is like, I mean, uh, in Minecraft, uh, the bedrock was the hardest thing, not the diamond. I mean, if you just try to put bedrock there, then uh, uh, it will take you ages for you to break it. But for a diamond, about a few seconds. Texture is how something feels. It's one way to describe soil. Sand feels squirty because it's hard bits of rock. Uh, silt feels like flour. It's made of bits that are smaller than sand. Clay feels sticky. It's made of even small bits mixed with water. It's in Earth's resources. When you use rocks, minerals, and soil, they're called resources. People dig stuff for them. That's called natural resources. Many metals we found are inside rocks. People use machines to get out the important metals. Other Earth resources can be used for energy. They can help move cars and heat homes. Well, my for metal can take a huge volume, can make a nice architecture plus. Conclusion, elements made of minerals. Minerals made of rocks. Rocks can be igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. Rocks can change from one kind to another in the rock cycle. Weathering and erosion change and move rocks. Rocks mix with organic matter to make soil. People need earth's resources. We even make and build things with rocks and minerals. We grow food and soil. So we, use, uh, so we need to use them wisely. Bye-bye.